A good day is probably the day they grade it. And then because of the traffic, it gets worse and worse and worse. By the end of the second day after grading, it's like totally like back down to where it was before. And if it rains, and if it rains for two to three days, the quality of the road is so poor that you're driving 20 to 30 kilometers an hour to get, and that takes you two to three hours to get home. I feel like it's time, we need to we need to give this to our people and make them feel like they're a part of the rest of society. Like, it feels like we're, we've been neglected over here. While most of us take smooth roads and alternate routes for granted, only one road, Highway 925, connects the communities of Dillon, Michelle Village, and St. George's Hill to the outside world. That may not seem like an issue until you put yourselves in the driver's seat of those who bump, swerve, or white knuckle along this road each day. The residents in this area report that many aspects of their lives are routinely interrupted, delayed, or altered due to severe road surfacing conditions on Highway 925. These inconveniences quickly turn serious and put the health and safety of the community at risk during peak weather events. Residents routinely experience property damage, travel delays, additional or unexpected food and accommodation expenses, and inflated contractor rates and supply costs. The community has identified Highway 925 as a severe impediment in the area. It has become clear to fix the problems that have plagued Highway 925 for decades. We need to reconstruct the road. By using proprietary reinforcement technology, we can stabilize the road and provide long-term, durable, low-maintenance, drivable surface for years to come. The key components of our solution consist of three things, an engineered design, a geotechnical investigation, and finally, construction. Engineers at Stratum Logics have developed a variety of conceptual engineered designs. They utilize a combination of traditional road building and proprietary reinforcement techniques to reconstruct Dillon's Highway in a way that balances durability with costs. Clifton Engineering will perform full technical investigation. The resulting data will be used by Stratum engineers to strategically apply design methods to each section of the road and deliver a detailed engineered solution that can be used in construction. Some sections will have new road built on top of the existing road. Others will be removed and replaced entirely and then there will be areas that require a mixed approach. Based on the engineered design provided by Stratum Logics, our partner Paradox Access Solutions will work with our community to completely rebuild Highway 925. This will open up our community to greater access to housing and other essential services that are crucial to community success. The benefits of reconstructing Highway 925 are both immediate and long-term. During construction, we will be using locally sourced aggregates and materials for infill to save on costs and reduce environmental impacts. Local construction jobs for the community of Dillon will also be available once the project is confirmed. The new road will immediately provide safer and easier travel. Damage to vehicles caused by poor road conditions will be eliminated and faster emergency response times and commutes to and from Dillon will be experienced. Ease of access for contractors and housing services will also immediately increase. Over time, the new road will result in an immense savings on road maintenance, housing transport and repairs. It will also open up our community to an additional access and opportunities. The multitude of problems that the reconstruction of Highway 925 can solve speaks volumes to how necessary this project is for the community of Dillon and its prosperity. Myself and like I'm sure everybody else in this community who has who has vehicles or homes at some point had to change their way of doing things because of the road situation, right? Getting supplies up here is, is, is a challenge in itself. Uh, you know, when, when, I, when I mentioned the RTMs, there are some of the houses that come in, like the broken windows, the, the house has been rattled so much on yeah. the road, like we got cracked drywall in a brand new house. And then there's like the issue of getting people to come up here to do some of this contract where knowing that the road is not the greatest. So they're going to jack their prices and saying, you know, I've been there. 
uh, the road is horrible. I had two flats, uh, you know, broken windows, stuff like that, mm-hmm. you know, and, and it, it, it adds up. Like, it's not only the housing, it's it's our our lifeline in and out of the community, um, our fuel, our propane. Um, being an, up here in a northern climate is, is another challenge too for the winter time, right? Yeah, it's a, it's a really challenging thing when it comes to uh, like even emergencies, right? Like we have ambulances that have um, got into accidents on this road coming or leaving with pa- patients, right? So that's that was another big issue uh, because we don't have a a landing strip or airstrip whatsoever. And, you know, uh, it's been a long time coming, you know, for for something like this to happen. And and I'm I'm happy to be part of it. You know, if if this means, you know, it changes somebody's uh, outlook in life as far as even just the road. Like I said, it may be a small thing to other people, but to us, it's 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 life, right? Ultimately, it's it's for my people and my kids and my future grandkids as well, right? This is uh, something that I feel like it it needs to be addressed and it needs to be, you know, let's fix it. When the roads are bad, they're bad. Especially after a few days of rain, you're tackling a 60-kilometer highway, which is going to take you two to three hours to get down one way. So if it's not the weather, it's too dry. And the dust is like, wow. Uh, we've had some very close calls. We've had some accidents that were, we actually have someone who is a paraplegic who rolled on the highway uh, due to the road conditions. I mean, she's not the only one that suffered through an accident on our road. We've actually had an issue where the road was so impassable that we had to get a helicopter to pick up a patient. It was a 14 year old kid. We could have lost her if it wasn't for the helicopter services. We don't even have a landing pad or an airstrip to accommodate the emergencies that we do have. It's very sad some days because you just think, wow, because this is like 2023. We need to have a better road into the community. I travel or I commute from Michelle Woods to this school, Dillon. It's 28 kilometers for 10 months, about the last 20 years. When we first got our roads built back in the 80s, because it used to be isolated, it was the worst. I know my mom died on this road. And my stepfather, they rolled. They rolled in a truck. That's back in the 80s. Yeah, there was a few accidents here and there, but safety is an issue for me. Um, not just me, uh, our people in Dillon, I'm sure they rely on like uh, road safety is very important to us. It can do a lot of good for our community. I drove in the ambulance uh, when I had uh, my heart attack there. I did not want to uh, sleep in that little gurney they got in the, in the ambulance because how rough it was and I thought I was going to fall off in that there. And then the ambulance broke before it even hit the turnoff. So another one had to come to pick me up. And that's the kind of stories there are about this road here. Years ago, I did an interview with uh, CBC North on the condition of the road there uh, because what had happened was uh, there was a rollover and one of our band members has since been wheelchair bound. And it was because of the condition of the road. And that, that, that section that uh, she rolled with her, her, with her mom uh, was always bad. It was always rutted and, and, and rough all the time. It's just, a, it's just one big game that uh, just keeps going on and on. And it seems like we're the ones that are getting at our expense all the time. The roads always seem to be getting worse all the time. We have had houses come in in the past, and I know that a lot of them are, you know, they're shook up, they're broken, the drywalls are broken, you know. It's it was a rough road that they go over in the last 60 year. Houses that came in a, a year or two ago are still not done because of the cracks and the contractors haven't come back in yet for that to actually finally touch them up and say that's it's done now, right? So 
we're trying to catch up right now and we have been trying to catch up for quite a while and I don't think we'll ever be able to with the uh, conditions remaining the same with everything. If we, if we fall back like one or two units this year and then three, four the next year because of the road conditions and then how, mu how much effect that has on the community. Certain, certain families have quite a few people living in one household and that's their children, grown up children because they have no place actually to go to and they're still struggling elsewhere trying to fit into the families that are, you know, like we have eight people in a two bedroom house and, and managing that way. If the road conditions improve, it would improve uh, the lives of a great many people in the community. Buffalo River Diné Nation has identified Highway 925 as a serious disadvantage in the community's access to housing, materials and services that most other Canadians have immediate and more affordable access to. But our success hinges on securing funding.